All right, so ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we need to do, as far as when we're doing any kind of transformation, any kind of transformation is we need to make sure we write down what the graph is going to look like, all right? So we need to plot the points. And that's why Shayla was getting on you, just to plot the points. Just practice getting the points. If we mess up on the transformation, that's fine. But ladies and gentlemen, we need to know how to plot points, all right? Or at least to remember going back to plotting points. So first point is negative 3, 1, negative 1. So that's w. Next point is 1 comma negative 1. That's x. Next point is 2, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's point y. And the last point is negative 2, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Did I write down the points correctly? Oh, that's positive 1, not negative 1. That's x. And that's z. OK, so ladies and gentlemen, there's our points. Now, if you guys remember, well, let's look at our transformation vector and determine what it's telling us. So Dominic, when we're writing this down, if I have a transformation vector of negative 3 comma 4, all right? That's going to tell me to shift my graph or shift each one of my points three units to the left and four units up. Now, I can do that to every single one of these points, right? But I think some of you kind of understand, I don't really want to do all that mathematics, Mr. McGlogan, unless I have to. So when you have a transformation that's kind of simple, not simple like this, but it's not very hard to move a figure, all you're doing is sliding it three units to the left and four units up. So what I can simply do, guys, is just take each one of my points and just shift it, slide it over. So now w, if I move it three units to the left, so it'll be 1, 2, 3, and then 4 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now that is w prime. And if I have a nice big grid, like I know this is kind of hard because I'm doing it without grid paper. But if you have a nice big grid, you can easily determine the, next, the new point, right? x, move it over three units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's x prime. z, negative 2. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3. And then 4 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then y, z would be at, or y prime's right there. And then up 4. And there you guys go. Now you guys can see I have now just taken each one of those points and transformed them over. Do you, so you guys see how I just can move them on the graph as well? You don't always have to do all that algebra especially if you took a test and you missed all the information to know that, okay?